We're gathered here to give thanks and honor to the family of Daniel Harris, Zichonolabracha, who have so generously donated to the library this gorgeous storefront. The new front is by far the most significant renovation that this library has ever undergone. The library was started nearly 50 years ago in the apartment of Edith Geiger in this building, and it's been in this storefront location for over 20 years. But until now, until the new storefront, practically no one knew it was here. Until now, the English library was known fondly to a relatively small group of English speakers who love to read. And in the last few years, while the English-speaking population of Tzfat has grown, unfortunately, the readership of the library actually dwindled. This library holds the largest collection of English language books in Israel, but it was in danger of closing due to lack of use. And the new storefront has already changed that significantly. Um, but the really important thing to know is that the new storefront is having a tremendous impact that goes far beyond the cosmetic improvement of Jerusalem Street. Since the new front has gone up every day, passers-by, both native English speakers and curious Israelis, stop in and get acquainted with what we have to offer. Some join the library and check out books, some sit inside to enjoy the free Wi-Fi on their laptops, and some have brought their great skills and ideas to add to our growing list of programming in the library. Every single day that we are open, somebody new comes in, or two or three or four people. It's been fantastic. New programs are being initiated every week, and we now have either scheduled or planned to schedule laughter yoga, a poetry slam, author presentations, a book launch is scheduled this Wednesday. We have storytelling, a drama group, movie night, journaling classes, and an English cafe for Hebrew speakers to help them improve their English. All of this, all of this since this new storefront went up. Amen. Oh, isn't that sweet? Who made it? Judy Pakin made it. I think it was custom made for the library.